Alright, we're in radar. My lift's got pushed back. He's dead. There's another guy over there. Dead too. Hey guys, it's Contract Wolf. Welcome to the channel. This is episode two of the Monolith playthrough for Stalker Anomaly. Last episode, we killed a pseudo giant in Pripyat. We killed a bunch of people in Jupiter, and now we're in the outskirts of Pripyat. We just met up with Oliver, and beneath us is Lab X8. This is the uh, place where it's like super action packed and uh, called appropriate the game where you go through and you gotta kill all these zombified stalkers and monolith. He actually has basic tools. So we already will have basic tools, which is awesome. My target is right here, right beside us. Eliminate enemy forces. There's probably some uh, loners or duty or possibly freedom that are right here. The doors open right here. Actually, just pop in and kill them all. I have no idea how many there are. Freaking gun jammed. Hopefully they all have the flashlights on. They're easy to spot. That's it. And we get paid automatically. I love that mod. Saturday I actually streamed a bunch and I forgot that my screen I had to stretch my screen on my recording software that's why I had to do major cuts at the beginning of this episode the rest of the footage was trash and I played for about 40 minutes before I realized it so let me give you guys basically an update it's day two now and we made it back to Pripyat and I was able to buy an ACOG site and a suppressor for my M16. And that's pretty much the only things that changed. I didn't get into any other fights. After the one I just showed you. But we were able to use Oliver to get back um, to Pripyat through night time. And I slipped and now I'm back in the outskirts again. Now we're going to attack the laundromat. Surprisingly the attachments weren't that uh, expensive. The attachments were about 7,000. Uh, the scope and the Suppressor, surprisingly. Surprisingly really cheap. But I'm pretty sure the monolith, they, they get a deal. Alright. Anyways. Let's keep going. We gotta go to the laundromat. We're gonna... Gonna be fighting against some pretty uh, heavily armed stalkers. One well-placed grenade, I should be able to clear out that entire room. Because we had the scope, I could bait them out the door and just nail them. They don't run into a chimera right here. That would be unfortunate. Got a poltergeist. Not a big fan of tall grass. 
Tall grass means chimeras. Lurking. Dog. Uh oh. Dogs. If there's one dog, there's multiple dogs. I blew his fucking head off. <laughs> Dismemberment mod's awesome. The scope is going to be huge. Pretty much my advice, guys, is get your scope weapon, get your mutant killer ASAP. Scope weapon's going to help you take down stalkers. And a mutant killing weapon like shotgun with buckshot, SMG with hollow points. This is prime, prime area for Chimera attack. All right, coast is clear. I got bad memories right here. This spot. I <laughs> got bad memories in Pripyat, period. Let's be real. <laughs> this is a dangerous area, guys. Very dangerous. I call it Pripyat because this is technically Pripyat. It's an extension of Pripyat. This is the uh, Pripyat map and call of Pripyat. It's just appropriate outskirts, basically. We got more zombies fired stalkers. Just a reminder, guys, these guys are allied to Monolith, or per se neutral. They don't have no problem with Monolith or Sin. You know, if a side storm is about to happen, that is like the perfect time for me to just like smoke all of these guys. When you play as Monolith or Sin or Zombified, you can actually use the side storms and the emissions to your advantage. I once threw a grenade in a small building and knew that none of the stalkers could actually run out of it actually turn the tide of the fight because it's usually a fight that you would lose maybe I'll just hang out outside a laundromat it would be a really good idea this is actually a really good building to snipe in at laundromat I'm going to get up in this building real quick this real quick there might be a zombified stalker up here but you know he's on our side this is a good building to kind of like look at sight lines if you're like not sure you can pop up in this building Really good snopping lanes. Just 
clearing this just just in case. Don't want any surprises. Just stash. So my stashes are like, you know, classic anomaly where it doesn't matter if the stash is marked on your map or not. It still has potential to have something in it. Okay, let's see if I can snipe somebody from here. Okay, so no activity. Nobody walking around outside. Sounds like a lurker. So this building itself, if you've never been here before, this is the laundromat. This is towards the end of Living Legend quest line for Anomaly. Where you go help uh, Sherlock. When you're fighting the monolith. But this is like, this is like post Living Legend. Because uh, the loners have occupied the Brain Scorcher and they have... The Miracle Machine cut off. So our goal is to turn back on the Brain Scorcher, turn back on the Miracle Machine, take back the South, and eliminate all factions in the zone. That's what this playthrough is about. And we have a mod that actually changes the entire zone every time we do kill factions. All right, let's go do this. Got really foggy all of a sudden. They haven't noticed me yet. Should just be the god in the main room. Everybody else will be in the second room in the back. Uh oh. They, they noticed me. Back up, back up. Oh, let's get in this building. They're gonna have to chase me. He's coming up. Anybody else coming up? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna hold these stairs. Go ahead and morphine.
get a mission start. I gotta clear this building. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> the game freaking like glitched for a second. Fuck, 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 fuck. It's always crazy when you're fighting in the middle of an emission. Oh shit! Oh, he freaking... I got lucky there. He went down. I thought I was dead. I thought I was surely dead. I think the emission killed him. That's pretty much what happened. That's one way to take down the laundromat. Make him chase you. Trying to come up the stairs. I'm gonna hold the stairs. Come on. He's still alive. Oh, fuck. The gun's jamming. That's why you don't run a broken gun like this. There's probably one more guy, but I'm not sure. Look at this build. Snorks. That snorks might have killed some people outside. Get a lot of bodies to loot. <laughs> oh, laundromat just chased me into this building. Crazy.
Nice. 44%. Hey, that's a nice looking rifle, man. We just got an upgrade. We're in ditch M16. That condition's better. Not gonna use the SKS. It's already a better helmet than this. Yeah, we're gonna be running a little bit of broken gear, but it's all good. I know how to fix it. Twenty nine by nineteen. That works. Hell yeah. That reload animation's way cooler than the M sixteen. M16 reload animation looked a little, uh, little funny. Because <laughs> when you uh, chamber around in the M16, it's like this with two fingers, not, not this weird, uh, weird animation like that. Because I used to own an AR15. I'm an AK guy though, so I'd rather run AKs. I want this playthrough to be like a NATO gun playthrough. Because the guys were <laughs> giving me hell. They said, you always run AKs in your playthroughs. Run some something different <laughs> for once. I was like, okay, I'll run NATO guns this time. Getting some good loot off these guys. Okay, there's a gun laying on the ground here. That guy had an exo skeleton. There's a good gun laying around here on the ground. Just can't see it. It's all covered up in the bodies. Basically a 308 gun. I'm trying to get all this ammo up. That was the first guy we killed. Hey, we could use this as a uh, disguise. Finally got a stalker suit. Really overweight, though. God damn it. Get rid of this compression bag. All these mags. Just uh, unpack them. They're not bad. We're sitting on 23,000 rubles. We got automatically paid because we did the conquer the enemy quest. And I am using the auto task complete mod, so pretty nice. We'll go ahead and disassemble some of this ammo. Got to lose some. Uh, Got to lose some weight. I ate that one piece of bread, and it like lightened my load just a little bit for me to walk. That's hilarious. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are pretty hungry. Our character is. Let's quickly run back to. Uh, Appropriate. I got my hood to where it's a key bond. All right, chill out. That's cool. There's different types of magazines. There's the fast loading kind, and there's the standard. It's cool. That's for a uh, mag redux mod. Check it out on mod DB. Makes the fights more hardcore. The freaking poltergeist. Always crouch whenever you see one. Stay still. Now I'm going to move very slowly. He's on the other side of the building, but he can detect me when I move quick.
All right, back at base. Got some people over here. Probably military. Those militaries in that are like that stadium. Yeah, loners are pushing appropriate because they control the brain scorcher right now. Dropping some gear off. Sell this PDA. Now we have gunsmithing tools available, a medium armor repair kit, shotgun repair kit, and gun repair kit. So we just need, need a small bore rifle repair kit now. I'm going to repack all my mags now. Because I got a bunch of mags that have AP and all kinds of shit. We got a bunch of old ammo, but we're going to still use it. I'm not going to worry about condition of my gun too much until I can actually do something about it. Um, let's see if I can actually boost the condition. We got broken parts in the gun though. Yeah, see I'm not really going to worry about that too much. Alright, let's figure out what we're going to do next. Alright, so I'm going to hold on to this bear stalker suit and we're going to use it as a disguise going into army warehouses. I'm going to get the tech to repair my shotgun. I need a reliable mutant killing gun. I can also put slugs in this and kill stalkers with it. But all in all, having a reliable shotgun is a must in the beginning. So, I've got a 100% shotgun now. So, I'm going to buy some buckshot. We're, we're good now. I can also switch the slugs if I need to kill uh, other stalkers in, in an early playthrough. If you don't have that, then you're fucked. Yeah, bear stalker suit has a disguise. Still got our pistol. Go ahead and swap to that. Half decent pistol that I need to fix up. Got a 100% shotgun and just need to get this rifle fixed up. And uh, got a pretty good loadout. Also need this helmet fixed as well. Once we have that all fixed up, we'll uh, have a pretty decent loadout. Feel a little bit better about going through radar and into army warehouses now. We have a little stash we can loot over here on the way into uh, radar. We're gonna meet some resistance around here. And I'm probably gonna go through the road since it's going to be a little bit safer going through this section is uh, full of mutants this originally was the shadow of Chernobyl red forest so that's why there are an insane amount of mutants in this area go around here Probably gonna be some loners over here trying to guard the uh, exit out of Pripyat. Okay, that's Monolith. I have no way to identify um, other than using my binoculars like Shatter Chernobyl or actually going up to them and recognizing their uniform. But because I'm using ducks as a numerable kit, it does uh, change up the uniform quite a bit. But I can see clearly monolith patch on his arm. Oh, you don't like me getting up too close to him. They had to run in with a snork.
a dead monolith guy. Ed and Alton. Shit. Apocalypse Helm. I really need to upgrade my backpack. You know what? Let's just go ahead and put this fucking thing on. Fuck it. That being said, I might need to just go back to base and uh, put that bear stalker suit up because I'm too heavy now. When I actually get to that stash, I'm going to be fucked. Or if I get into a fight and I really want to hold on to something, it's not going to be good. Let's see if there's a sniper up there like he's always is. There's usually a sniper up here, especially in uh, Shattered Chernobyl. So when you first walk in here in Shattered Chernobyl, there, there's a guy up there. There's a guy right here. The fuck was that? Fractures. <laughs> oh, nice. Got some freaking meds on him. The stamina shit's killing me, man. Gotta fix this ASAP. I, I can't handle having a that bear stalker suit on me. This is too heavy. I've only got forty six as my max kilogram weight. I definitely need the Hercules. When we have too much weight, get rid of some of this old ammo. We don't want to be shooting that. Unless we absolutely have to. Alright, let's go to this uh, green stash and let's head into radar. Follow this road. I run into some loners that we had to kill. Alright, so we're back where we were earlier. Let's find that little green stash we got over here. This guy's still here, so nothing went down. Seems to be nobody around. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's a fucking the loner. Dead. I didn't pick him up on my binoculars earlier. Might be another guy. There's a chimera nearby. So be careful here. It's gone. Holy shit. He must have killed a bunch of people. Holy shit, dude. even like a it's kind of a kind of a high rank I killed two monolith guys and he picked up a bunch of 
loners. So he's been in a couple of fights. I don't need everything from this guy, but that was a little surprising. I like the Glock though. I'm a Glock guy. You know, I fucking love it. To me, a pistol's more like a backup than it really is like a main gun. Got all kinds of shit off of that guy. I mean, like Jesus Christ, dude. Be something, something to entertain. You actually uh, swap the caliber to 762 by 54 It'd be like a little, like, SVD almost. Alright, let's go to radar. Alright, we're in radar. My lifts got pushed back. He's dead. There's another guy over there. Too. All right, I need morphine right now. God, this is bad. Fucking everybody's dying. Come on, man. It's just you and me. Fucking die. You gotta heal. You gotta heal. I think my guy's dead now. Just me. They're flanking, they're flanking. How's my health? Okay, I'm okay. I'm bleeding though. But I'm okay. I think there's a guy about to walk up. This fucking shotgun's been amazing. Is that it? One more guy. I'll just stop this guy. I 
Fucking everybody got killed in that fight. All the monolith guys. All this fucking... These loners were about to push Pripyat. They were pushing this fucking uh, checkpoint hard, dude. That's what I'm saying. The loners have taken over the Brain Scorcher. There is as many loners in the Brain Scorcher as they were in the mon as the monolith back then. So, this shit's fucking wild. I get to get all the loot. So. Go ahead and take this anti radiation. That one guy that looked like a looked sort of like a sin guy. He had a suppressed MP five, I think. This was freedom. Get an AK-101? What? Nice. I love the AK-101. That's a sick gun. Big amount of radiation. And mom has got fucking smoked right here. Big time. Oh, fucking spas 12. That's better than the shotgun that we got. Fucking radiation's about to kill me. <laughs> I just want to get these bodies and I'm out of here. I guess they were from these vehicles, though. That's where the Main source of the radiation's coming from. Fucking M16. Look like the same M16 that we. MK14 EBR? Holy shit, dude. Fucking gun nuts coming out of me. We're holding on to that. That's fucking badass. God damn, these guns, man. Fucking scar. I gotta get out of here. Fucking radiation's gonna kill me.
I keep popping meds. I drop some of this shit. I really want to run the Glock, but it's only like 15 rounds. I think that Beretta Storm would be cooler. Brita Storm looks cleaner. I like that. Showing my hood right now so you can guys see just how much crazy ass radiation I got going on. Oh, what the fuck? I dropped this, but I didn't drop that sniper I for earlier. Gotta avoid this chimera. There's a chimera over here. I don't want to deal with him. Gotta go around, because I heard him over here. I don't got any stamina right now, so Chimera would be absolutely deadly. It's pretty rough. <laughs> All right, I gotta do something about this uh, Chimera. I can, I can hear him. You guys might not be able to hear him, but I can. Okay, that's Monolith. Uh-oh. Come here. Oh, shit. I'm getting away from him. Fuck him. Fuck that Chimera. That Chimera won. Just hope he doesn't come after me. Stamina is awful right now. I got too much weight. Now, to be honest, I'm gonna get rid of this. You know why? It's just fucking subsonic. <laughs> Sniper rifle. Like fuck that. Subs subsonic means that it has no range. It doesn't have enough velocity. You don't have velocity, you really can't snop with it. It's a pointless gun then. Alright, I survived. Survived an insane fight. I didn't quite expect that. I was trying to go to army warehouses, but it didn't quite pan out like that. Sometimes uh, when you make plans, the zone laughs at you. Kind of like an analogy for God. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this episode, please subscribe, like the video, and leave a cool comment. Uh, I've been dealing with a house move right now. I thought I was going to take a break, uh, but the videos must flow. They must continue. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.